non-communicable diseases such as uh, hypertension or diabetes. As you can see, this is actually a significant uh, risk for the individual, but also for the future development. Number two is the climate change and environmental health. Our region is dynamically changing, but behind that dynamic changes, we're experiencing a health impact of the climate change. And Pacific Island countries, this threat is the real. I have visited a couple of Pacific Island countries. They're experiencing like high tide every month and their land is really covered up by the seawater. That makes people very difficult to get the fresh water or to have a vegetation. So climate change, health impact of climate change. And third is the so-called uh, infectious diseases. We call it health security. Um, your country is very famous. 100 years ago, this new type of influenza virus came at last but then caused highest death proportions around the world. The influenza virus keep mutating, but also there's influenza virus outside the human, like a birds. And the birds virus mixed up with the human, or birds virus mutated and become a human virus, that's the time that makes a new virus and spread around the world. And this region is known as a hotspot for such infectious diseases. So I decided that this is also another very, very important topic. So I propose three things. One is a health, uh, uh, non-communicable diseases, such as hypertension, diabetes. Second is the health impact of climate change. And the third is the health security. And the purpose of my visit is to really discuss again uh, whether uh, the three topics is in the right directions or not. And uh, I met the uh, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Deputy Prime Ministers, and then visited the uh, three health centers, the health facilities in the districts. And I confirmed that uh, these three topics is also relevant in these countries. But also I was reminded again that when we say Pacific, every country are so different. So I have to also approach differently by different countries. But one thing I was so struck by this country is now there is a window of opportunity. Uh, I commend the government to move into the direction of the merger of the NHS and then the public uh, health. This would uh, improve the efficiency and effectiveness in providing really needed services uh, on the ground to the people. I have mentioned that the non-communicable diseases, non-communicable diseases, unlike uh, infectious diseases that makes you fever, then you have to go to the hospital and check what is causing this fever and you receive something, advice or medicine and then uh, you recover from that. But non-communicable diseases, once you have detected tendency of the higher blood pressure, you need to follow up. And to follow up, obviously the closer to where people live or where they work is the most uh, effective and efficient way. And we also know that uh, unfortunately many people doesn't know their status. Status means uh, their condition. Because those of, most of those non-communicable diseases, they're silent. They don't tell us there's some problem occurring. So again, if there is something closer to the community and then help them understand their status and then able to follow up, that is the most efficient type of the services. And I found that uh, there is a Windows opportunity. And I also encouraged by the program called PENFA Samoa, it's actually known in this region. This is the program, actually very much uh, uh, owned by the women's groups in the community. And this woman's really helping, uh, the women's group carrying the community, helping people to understand their status. And that result also uh, encouraging the districts to be reformed, to able to provide the services to be picked up. 
So I have uh, seen some kind of the future of this region already starting in these uh, countries and I'm very much looking for that becomes not just the good services for these countries but the model for the region. This is my first visit as a at our regional directors, um, but I'm very much looking forward to continuously coming back and see how this uh, program will be continuously developed. So thank you very much, and I'm happy to take any questions 